In this video, we are going to talk about MATLAB. So um, you can see the interface here. On the top, there's all these buttons called Home, Plots, Apps, Editors, Publish, View. I'll, I will come back to this a little later. Um, I will show you exactly what is this. This is the, the bar. The bar shows an address. This address is actually telling that MATLAB is active in this folder meaning if you have anything, any file or anything that's related to this program, it will go to this uh, folder and find it. Um, in case if you have, if you want to define a different folder, you, you will have to change this by going, uh, by going here and clicking this. Okay, by clicking this, you can, it, it will come up and it, it can actually select something. And then um, the, on the left side, this says current folder. What it means is that it, it will show you what are the components of the folder uh, or the files that have the folder has. So it will show up here. Um, in this workspace, the, the whatever variables you have actually chosen or used in this um, program, it will store all those variables and show up here. And uh, this is called editor or the script. So in this editor, we can write the commands and then execute the commands later on by um, pressing and going to this editor and going to run. I'm going to show you an example later. And this is the command window, so it actually can work um, as a calculator. Um, you can come here and um, type anything and it will work as a calculator. For instance, if I just type 8 plus 5, it will uh, give us a number 13. So it, it works as a calculator. Now you can see this uh, this variable as I haven't um, assigned this variable this uh, variable to any any variable definition. So it has stored uh, in the value of a and s. And if I do if I do uh, something else like let's say um, let's eight times five is forty. So it changed the a and s value to forty. So it it just stores the current value as long as I'm not defining any variable. Now if I define anything, let's say a equals to um, 10, now it will store that a value as 10 and do that. Okay, the other thing that I want to talk about is that MATLAB is case sensitive, meaning the variable uh, small letter a is different than the variables capital letter a, capital, capital letter a can be defined in a different different value and it will store um, as a different value okay and then um, if we want to um, if we want to l l now you see that this this thing is outputting um, the variable that we're putting so if we want to suppress that all we need is to type that command and press the semicolon and that will actually um, suppress the output so it's not outputting anything but it actually um, it actually executed the command. Now, if we want to, um, let's say the command window looks like a, a little cluttered, we can actually clear the command window by typing CLC, press enter, and that will clear the command window totally. And uh, if you want to clear the memory, you can say clear all, that will clear everything. Okay. Now, in terms of um, the editor, we can do the same thing with this editor or the script. The, uh, the only difference is that we, can, we have to write the command first and then execute the command later on. So whatever programming we will do, uh, we will do this uh, with the script. To do this, you can actually go here, uh, new, and you say new script, and that will actually bring up a new script. And here you can write different commands and that will execute it. So for instance, um, I, I will just do the same thing I did. Let's say a equals to um, 8 plus 5 as I did before. Now if I go to this editor and go here, it says run. If I press run, um, it will run it. The other thing is that as I don't uh, have a saved uh, script, it will prompt me to save it. So Either we can save it from here or we can save it from going up to this and save. Now, there are a few naming conventions for MATLAB. Uh, let's save it, let's say tutorial1, press enter. And now the file says tutorial1.m. .m is the 
MATLAB extension. And I said variable A is assigned uh, to 8 plus 5, meaning the variable A should have a value of 13. Now, if I run it, it should, yeah, you see that it, it, it has a value of a equals to 13 and this value value is stored in this variable a. We can do a bunch of different things. We can, um, we can say multiply it 8 times 5 and press run. It will do that. A13 and A40. As you can see, I haven't put anything here, so it's outputting all those uh, operations on the command window. So we can press these semicolons here so it will do the same thing but it will not output here anything and the uh, variables are stored another thing i should define i should uh, clear uh, clarify is that um, matlab works as a chrono chronological order meaning it will execute this number number one line first and then number two and so on so Whatever you write first, it will execute that first, and then it will execute the commands following that. So let's say um, if I if I want to uh, add a command CLC, it will first clear the whole command window and then execute A equals to something and that. So if I run it, and you can see it just cleared the whole window and then executed these commands. The other thing is that instead of running, uh, uh, clicking the run, you can actually type F5 and that will do the same thing. Thank you for watching.